Welcome back to Joel's Bowl. Today, we'll be making scalloped potatoes. Now, this is such a simple recipe, I almost hesitated making a video describing how to veganize it. But, alas, it was so good, I just had to share. As always, this recipe is posted down in the description, as well as being pinned in the comments. So we're gonna start off by getting three quarters of a cup of raw cashews. We're gonna soak those overnight. And the next day we're gonna drain the cashews and add them into a blender along with one cup of vegetable broth. Here I'm using homemade vegetable broth using celery, carrots, cabbage, and some other vegetables. Along with one cup of coconut milk, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, half a teaspoon of whole peppercorns, and some salt to taste. We're going to blend that until it's smooth, and then we're going to set it aside. Then, we're going to heat a tablespoon of olive oil in a large saucepan over medium heat. We're going to add in one small onion, finely chopped, and saute that for about three to four minutes until it turns translucent. Then we're going to add in a dash of thyme along with three cloves of minced garlic, sauteing it for about another minute before we remove it from the heat and mix it all together with the blended cashew paste. Then we're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and lightly grease the bottom of a baking dish while slicing four potatoes as finely as we can. Then we're going to spread enough sliced potatoes in the baking dish to cover the bottom and then top it with some of the onion cashew mixture, alternately repeating layer after layer until all the ingredients are used. Preferably with a nice layer of sauce on top. Then we're going to bake that for 45 minutes before checking in with a fork to ensure that the potatoes are tender and cook throughout. If not, continue baking for about 15 minutes until done. And then we're going to chop some fresh chives and sprinkle that on top for garnish. And there you have it! Scalloped potatoes! If you like this video, drop me a thumbs up and share it around if you know anyone that might also appreciate this sort of content. Be sure to subscribe for more amazing plant-based vegan goodness. Check me out on Instagram at Joel's Bowl. And by all means, tag me if you decide to make any of my awesome recipes with hashtag Joel's Bowl. Remember, in this day and age, it's not difficult to make any dish vegan. Go vegan today for yourself, for the animals, and for the future of humanity and the entire earth. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.